If you are what you think about, then you have to start getting real careful about what you think about. Now you have to start this with being cautious about every conversation that you have with your friends, with your relatives, with your mother, with your husband, with your children, that focuses on what's missing in your life. Because if you want to attract something into your life, something good, something grand, something godlike, something prosperous, something of well-being, you know, health, whatever it might be, uh, if you want to attract that into your life, but you're talking about what's missing and thinking about what's missing, and you understand that what you think about is what expands, you will continue to expand more of what's missing, and you'll continue to attract what's missing in your life. I never talk about what's missing in my life. I only put my attention on what I intend to create. It's about practicing this idea of not putting your thoughts on what is missing and shifting it to it's on its way. It's on its way. It's on its way. Four words, just get them tattooed someplace inside of you. Whatever it is that you would like to attract into your life, know that it's on its way. And I want to say to you that as you begin to get your thoughts more harmonized with Tao thinking, that is with the thinking of the source, the thinking of God, that which always has been, that which does nothing but leaves nothing undone. As you begin to more and more harmonize in this way, what happens is that you start elevating your thoughts so that the habit of how you think becomes more harmonized rather than a polarity with what you want to attract, it becomes harmonized with it. And it becomes your natural way of how you think all the time. As you begin to shift the way that you think and have an anticipation that this thing is going to work out for you, you can only act upon your thoughts. And as you, as, as you get these higher and higher thoughts, what happens is that, that the thought is now more aligned with what it is you want to attract, and then you start acting upon that thought. And as you start acting upon the thought that it will work out, that it's probably on its way, you start to see how this whole system all works. In other words, call it the universe, whatever you want, begins to conspire with you. It begins to act almost in where, where you suddenly become a collaborator with fate. And instead of fate being something that just might or might not happen to you, you're in collaboration with what it is that you want to attract. You have got to get yourself to a place where you don't allow yourself to have violent thoughts come into your consciousness. That means you got to watch the movies you're watching. It means that you don't watch the news and you don't read the stories endlessly reaffirming what a terrible place this world is. It is not a terrible place. It's a perfect place. It's a beautiful place. There are just some leaders who are connected to Tao and others who are not. And we can create the kind of world that we want to create when enough of us begin to say, not part of my consciousness. Nope, I don't buy gossip. No, I don't buy violence. No, I don't have anything to do with that. And you just turn the channel, you turn it off. And you don't have to fill yourself with that kind of energy. So you don't put your thoughts around what's missing. You don't put your thoughts on what always has been. You don't put your thoughts on what others want for you unless you want more of what others want for you to continue to show up into your life. So that if you're having conflicts with anybody that's out there, you don't have to put your attention on any thought that is out of harmony with the relationship that you would like to have. It doesn't have to be. You can have a love story replace a hate story by just changing your thoughts in any moment of your life.